G'day folks and welcome back to Metal Mania 3D in the Diecast Workshop and a Happy New Year to everybody. This is a build off that we're um, just collaborating with a few friends in time and I'd have organised this one here so we're going in with this one with him um, due out in January so uh, this is the stocky out of the packet. I've already taken the liberty of opening the packet. There she is there. Empty skill, right? So we're just going to do whatever we please that we want to do with it. Alright, so we'll get moving on and we'll see where this one leads us. Okay, well there she is. She's in the nerd now, right around there. And all drilled out and everything else is trying to jump off the bench. Alright, so there she is there. Alright, so we'll keep moving along. We'll get this one a bit quicker and uh, we'll see what ends up happening there. We'll just keep it there for a brief second there and we'll just uh, keep moving along. Alright, we've uh, filed all of the bad casting lines off it everywhere and given it a bit of a polish up. We've got a bit more to do with it yet and all that there. And we just roughly whacked these sitting these wheels in there and I've lowered it at the rear there because it's just sitting way too high. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to file the base down on this one here so it can actually go back down on its feet. And uh, we'll see what else, we'll see what ends up here. It might end up black, I don't know what colour we're going, wherever. Wheels can change any colour, we've got plenty of different colours, so... We'll just keep on moseying on and see where we go to with this one. Okay, we're back with the uh, Dodge Dodge Charger 500. And we've got them all, all got all the overcastings and all of that sort of stuff and everything done there. And if you can actually see on the boot lid there, um, or the trunk lid if you want to call it that, if that, that there, you see it there and the same on the other one here. Actually put the cut lines in the back of the boot lid because they were missing. That's from the casting, so that's on all of them, but I'll put that back in there. And then if we turn it around the front there, yes there's two. I had one sitting there for ages messing around with it, so it's about time I finished it. Um, and I did the same with the uh, the front hood or bonnet to put the little uh, nicks in there, so it indicates that the bonnet goes down. Plus also cleaned up all of these edges, took all the lumps off the front of the fenders, they were terrible, the lumps and the bulges on the ends of those there, and it took away all of that join casting line there. It was a really rough cast mask on that hood there, on that tr uh, turret roof, I mean. Now this one here, I've, I've really buffed it a bit, but I've just had to fix a few more little bits and pieces. But um, nevertheless there, they're all cleaned up. Uh, one of them, was it, was it this one? No, it was the other one. The other one here, all the other indicators in the fenders and the rear quarters that are all nice and deep and everything, this one here, I had to dig it out with the pointed, my pointed spear file that I've got there. I had to dig that out. To, otherwise, by the time we would have painted it, we would have lost it. That's how fake, fade it was on that side. But the other ones are all pretty good. All right. Well, let's get them buffed up and steel warm them into primer. Okay, we're back with the Dodge Chargers. And uh, we've polished them all up, buffed them all up now, as you can see. And everything else and, and you can also see inside there i've also dug all of the guards out with the tremel so because i like to get my wheels as close as i can to the edge of the guard i like to fill the guard in the motor industry we call that we like the wheel to fill the hole um yeah because otherwise it looks weird without it all right we'll get it all organized and we'll um get him in to primer all right there we go that's i haven't done the clear or anything yet on that one there and haven't done the clear on this one here and that one's pearl black and this one's viper purple um i got it mixed up with lee from time rider i thought it was um a dodge charge with bill but he just said ones with bad tempos well these had bad tempos they had all of those flames all over the place i actually want to see what the body of the car looks like and when all of those flames are over them you can't work them out but yeah we're going to get um the details done the indicators and all of that there done and then We'll get the body into clear and we're still working on the wheels. Okay, we're back with the Dodge Chargers. Two of them there that the bad tempos build off. It's with Time Rider, Lee from Time Rider. While I'm talking about it, go and check his channel out. And also check out all the other channels that entered into this build off. With um, It's a bad tempos one. I think I said that. Um, there's the bases there. There's the wheels there. Um, I ran out of a lot of time in this and Lee gave me a, an extension and 
I'm extremely grateful for that. Um, I'd really like to have my stuff out on time, but unfortunately I had uh, one of my mates ended up in hospital in ICU on New Year's Day, so uh, everything's been pretty wild. All right, good point. Thing, thing is, is that he's starting to come forward, which is the more important thing. Um, and this one here, I've painted this one in Viper Purple. There we go. I'll get a better look on it there when we get around. You can see that there, how nice the uh, purple looks on it. Just bring a bit more light over. And you'll be able to see the glass, how glassy it is. I've done the winds, the uh, the door moulds in black. I've done around the windscreens in black, the moulding as well. And the drip rail moulds over your door holes and that sort of stuff. So yeah, alright, so that's the purple one. That's Viper Purple, that by the way. And then this other one that we have here, this is Pearl Black. So that's how that little beast looks. And you can get that have a look down the side down here. Alrighty. Okay. Anyway, I was lucky enough to also able to get away with that one of them had a green screen in it there. So I ended up with another one of my wrecking pole there, which had a clear screen and a smoke screen. So let's get into it and get them together. Okay. This is what they looked like when they started with. One was purple, one was blue, and it was the bad tampo build. So there's just there's flames all over the place. You can't see the scallops in the doors. You can't see the scallops in the hood bonnet and that sort of stuff. Pretty plain and ordinary. Yeah, so um, coming up after this, um, this is what they look like after we've been messing with them. Okay, there we go. They're all done. You've got the Viper Purple with the gold rims. We made those alloy bands for the back of the wheels there. Actually, on the purple one here, I stripped all the chrome off there. So I uh, use CLR in Australia. I've tried a couple of different um, oven cleaners that don't seem to do the job in Australia. We're not allowed to have those other things with that other... I forget what the name of that stuff is in it. And this one is the Pearl Black. And then we, uh, we, did, all of the, we did all of the back ends on them there as well. As you can see, the detail lights and the and the indicators and the, the reverse lights, I worked out, I had to jump on the net there, work out that they were reverse lights. It's been an Australian car, so I have to do a bit of researching, and, and this is what they come up like. I was going to put a chrome band on the front of those front wheels there to sort of match the back, but I just, I just ran out of so much time. <laughs> it's hard enough trying to get these done as it is, and um, I appreciate all of the, the time that I've been given. Um, immensely but anyway guys there they are they're both done that's the bad tampo build they come up all right don't forget to like share and subscribe don't forget to go to time Lighter's channel check him out he'll have a list of all the builders that are on there um and yeah let me know in the comments which one you like and what do you think and whether it's good bad or ugly i reckon they look all right um that's my opinion Turned out not too bad. It was a bit of a rush job, so I'm lucky I got here and I got this far, I guess. And I didn't want to cut the base. I ended up changing the base on the other one that was lowered. So um, I left the chrome on the black one there just to brighten it up so it wasn't too black black. And it, um, it doesn't seem to look too bad with the, uh, with the chrome on it there. So yeah, it came up pretty schmick. Looking not too bad there. We get this... Um, lighting sorted out a bit more better and then we get the new camera getting that set up so we're having a lot of time with this trouble with this um electronics and all that sort of stuff there that's the, my issue not actually doing the painting or whatever else there but um but yeah let me know in the comments what you think yeah all right thanks for watching thank you to all my subscribers new and old i appreciate you get ready um because uh, we're going to do a video in the next day or two uh, for the 300 subscriber giveaway and we uh we'll let you know all about that when it comes out all right stay tuned take care for now catch you again on the next one